fish to the home screen of your Apple or Android device. Here's how. Let's start with your Apple device. Begin by launching the Safari app. Enter the URL starfishperks.com, then tap Go. Log into your account. Tap the Share icon along the bottom of the Safari window to open the drop-down menu. Tap Add to Home Screen. Enter the name of the shortcut and then tap Add. That's it! You can now access Starfish directly from your home screen, and it's just as simple for an Android device. In this case, let's launch the Chrome app. Enter the URL starfishperks.com and tap Enter or the green arrow at the bottom. Log into your account. Then tap the menu icon or the three dots in the upper right hand corner. Then add to home screen. Enter the name of the shortcut and then tap add. That's it! You have now added Starfish to the home screen of your Apple and Android device for quick and easy access. Funding your e-wallet can be done in a few simple steps. Begin by tapping the Add Money button at the top of the home screen. Your online security is our priority. Therefore, first-time Starfish users will need to step through an identity verification process. To begin the verification process, tap the ACH from my bank account option. First, read through and agree to the terms and conditions by tapping the checkbox here. Then tap Proceed to Identity Verification. Begin by adding your phone number. Then tap Next. A text was sent to your mobile device. Tap the link provided in the text message. After successful verification of your phone number, tap Continue. Next, enter your date of birth the last four digits of your social security number, then tap Continue. Now simply verify or fill in any remaining information needed here. Then tap Confirm. Your one-time identity verification is complete and you'll notice a green check mark here. Now to begin adding a bank account, choose the ACH from my bank account option. You'll notice an option to select or add a bank account. Let's tap the drop-down arrow. In this case, I want to add a new bank account. Next, provide details related to the account you are adding. First, name the account. Let's call this Chase Bank. Choose if you'd like to fund the account using your checking or savings. For US customers, add the nine digit routing number from your banking institution. Next, add your account number, your first name, your last name, then tap Save. Note, by tapping Save, you are confirming you are an authorized signer on this account. That's it! You can now use the same bank account to fund your e-wallet. To do this, tap the drop-down arrow in the Select or Add Bank Account field. You'll now notice the account you just added. Choose this account. Enter the amount you'd like to deposit. In this case, let's add $200. Please note you will be given immediate access to $100 unless you currently have an outstanding deposit. Then tap Next. Verify the deposit total. Read and acknowledge the terms and conditions by tapping the box. Then tap Confirm. That's it! For US customers, please allow 3 to 5 business days for the deposit to be available. If you'd like to review the deposit transaction to ensure it's pending, Tap the wallet icon in the footer, then tap Transaction History. Here you can view this transaction or any other transactions you've made. It's here you'll also notice the $100 advance that is made available to your e-wallet immediately. It's also important to note, if you want to remove a bank account at any time, you can do so by tapping the wallet icon in the footer, and then Payment Sources. Here's the recently added bank. I can remove this bank by tapping the red Remove button. For your convenience, you can also utilize this screen to add a bank as well. For Canadian customers, follow these steps to link your bank account. Tap the Add Money button at the top of the home screen. Then choose the eTransfer from my bank account option. Follow the Interact eTransfer instructions to fund your e-wallet. That's it! Your wallet is now set up, funded, and ready to use. Starfish platform is simple and fast. To check out using Starfish either in store or online, simply search for the merchant you're shopping at or plan to shop at. In this case, let's choose Gap. 
No, if you're shopping in-store, tell the cashier you'll be paying with a digital gift card. Next, enter the total amount of your purchase. Let's say the checkout total is $81.97. Then tap Review and Pay. Review the totals and tap Complete Purchase. Please note that gift card purchases are final and non-refundable. That's it. Just tap View Your Gift Card and tap to use. Present this barcode to be scanned or present the gift card number and PIN to be entered manually. And it works just as easily online by manually entering the gift card number and PIN during your digital checkout. Note, a small number of merchants may require you to load the gift card to their app or website in order to redeem. If you're dining at a restaurant and wish to include the tip amount on your gift card purchase, follow these steps. After receiving the bill total, decide on the tip amount. In this case, dinner was $56.25, and I'd like to include a $12 tip. This brings the total to $68.25. Purchase a gift card for $68.25. The wait staff will take the gift card and scan the card for the dine-in bill amount of $56.25, leaving a remaining balance of $12 on your gift card, or your tip amount. Then, when the wait staff returns with the bill, simply write in your tip amount, in this case it's $12, and that's it. They'll utilize the same card to apply the tip. It also might be helpful to note, you can retrieve a gift card that's already been purchased by tapping the wallet icon in the footer. Then tap Gift Cards. You'll notice your gift cards here. Make sure to move your gift cards that have reached a zero balance to the Used Gift Card section. You can do this by tapping the three dots and choose Move to Use Gift Cards. To view your used gift cards, simply tap the Use Gift Card tab. Here you can view the gift cards you've previously purchased or you can move a gift card back to your active gift cards you may have moved here in air. If this is the case, simply tap the three dots and choose Move to Gift Cards. You are now ready to begin earning instant perks at hundreds of top brands.